welcome back to my channel. My name is Tepra. If you're new here, don't hesitate to leave a comment or subscribe down below. We're gonna be reviewing episode one, season four of Insecure. So I'm gonna get my notepad because I took notes last night. You know, I took notes. I know it says 2019, but child. I'm wishing for 2019 to come back because right now 2020 is out of control. So we just gonna hop right into it. Hold on, let me adjust the camera. Hold on, hold on, just one second. You know, I'm still working with this new camera that Bay got me. Shout out to Bay. Um, it's a 4K. It's an Osmos Pocket. Osmo Pocket. I'll leave a link down below in the description box for anybody who's interested in what kind of camera I'm using at this very point in time. Okay, we begin the season. Episode one, opening scene with Issa saying she don't bleep with Molly no more. I'm like, whoa. You don't bleep with Molly no more. It's very foreshadowing. So everything that happens up to this point all the way throughout the season, I think everybody just need to keep an eye out for details and just a little subtleties of what's really going on with Issa and Molly. Like, I feel like Issa is like doing better maybe spiritually um mentally physically because you know like molly came over with the yoga mask i don't think we ever seen Issa work out have we ever seen her work out on the show and we ended season three with her like with the the last dragon um remix and she got the glow type when got that glow got your physical got that glow hey oh you're fine so that's how Issa ended her season three. And we began with her like kind of, and then, you know, she puffing on a little puff puff, you know, getting her mind right. So I'm like, okay, Issa, she doing her thing. She doing her thing. So I'm, I'm proud of Issa. I feel like we're gonna see a lot of growth with Issa this season, just based on just like kind of what she been through and what she's been going through and how she's like moving forward. Hold on, Issa. She with the big fellas? She, 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 she messed with the big dudes. Issa has off to you, girl, because, you know, big dude do do a better little heavyweight champ, you know what I'm saying? And he seemed like he really do care about her because Issa's been dealing with guys that's kind of like, they kind of take, 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 and it's not really no give or at all. And I just feel like Issa's been not getting used because Issa also be taking too, but she's been dealing with a lot of situations where the guys are taking and not really giving her anything back in return in terms of just like her her whole being not not producing to her whole being so eat something new she's stepping out of her box you know and she's she's just living life so i hey asa i feel you girl <laughs> Issa and Molly, they go to uh, they go to this boutique or whatever to get an outfit for the mixer, you know, the day before or whatever, however many days before the mixer. She, I recognize Molly had said something to Issa. She was just like, yo, I'm bringing Asian Bay. I think his name is Drew. Drew? Drew. It's Drew, I think. And comment down below if I'm right, y'all. I'm wrong. Tell me, tell me if I'm wrong now. So Molly's just like, yeah, I'm bringing Drew um do you mind if nathan comes to the mixer and Issa's just like no i don't want him to come to the mixer what you? but at first i was like dang that's molly's a good friend because she gave her friend a heads up you know and she let her know that she was gonna possibly bring somebody that Issa don't really mess with like that into her like home and her vicinity and in her her project and i was like okay molly good heads up good friend good friend alert but then I started to think about it. I was just like, um, does does Molly really like, does Molly be hanging out with Nathan? You know, cause she hangs out with Drew, Asian Bay, and Asian Bay, I think they room together, him and Nathan. So it's just like, I think Molly be low key kicking it with Nathan sometimes. But anyway, we're gonna fast forward to um Issa hanging out. Um, she got, she's getting real cool with Condola. And y'all, I like Condola. Y'all like Condola? Leave a comment down below, like, what is, who is the character that you most relate to on the show and, and why? Because I really like Condola. She's been there for Issa and they kind of got this, like, 
type of common bond with just like trying to help the community and being a person of the people. I think that's something that they really share. And I think it takes a very empathetic person to be someone who cares about other people besides themselves. So um, they're probably going to be in tune with each, each other's feelings. And I think that'll make for a pretty good relationship in terms of friendship. But um, we found out that Condola now is dating Issa's ex-boyfriend, Lawrence. I mean, it's a very eco-friendly relationship. It's a lot of uh, recycling going on. But I feel, what would have been y'all reaction to Tiffany dropping that big bomb of a of a secret to the two of them? Like, if you were Issa, how would you have like reacted to that? I'm gonna give y'all one second to uh, pause the video and then type your comment down below. I think Issa handled it. Um, I think she handled it very perfectly because Condola didn't know that she was that Condola didn't know Lawrence was Issa's ex ex boyfriend of five years. Um, but Tiffany sure as hell knew. I think Tiffany is not really a friend of Issa because if she was a friend of Issa, she would have been told her that Condola was talking to Lawrence or even if she was real cool with Condola she would have been told Condola like yo you dated an ex-boyfriend of somebody who I'm in the same circle with so I don't think Tiffany not really a good friend to me or even like or maybe she don't have no loyalty to nobody but I think Issa and Tiffany on the same page with that because I don't think Issa the character really messed with Tiffany I don't think they're real friends I think they just cool because they both know Molly but anyway, moving forward. And we get to the point where Condola, she goes to Roy's house and she just like, yeah, I think we need to take a rain check on this whole popcorn and champagne thing because I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And then that's, that's when she figured out that Lawrence and Issa had dated for five years. So that makes me question like, so, is Condola and Lawrence actually like like legit in a relationship? Are they just dating? Are they exclusive? Like what is their relationship status? Because if they're dating, then most of the time you discuss kind of like your past dating history with the person that you're now trying to get serious with. And for him not to mention that he had just got out of a five year relationship, low key, I don't know. That's kind of fishy too. So it's, I'm just trying to figure out where everybody lies. She is showing up to his house. She is showing up unannounced. You know what I'm saying? He do got the whole popcorn and hot sauce spread out on the table. So, uh, <laughs> he trying to uh, wind it down and they Netflix and chilling. Oh yeah, oh yeah, y'all. Did y'all notice all these name drops Insecure was doing episode one? Like they had Ray J. They had Portia from Real Housewives of Atlanta. That's my girl. They had uh Trudy Proud. I don't know her name, y'all. Y'all can write it. Y'all can write it down there in the bottom. It's comments, but you know, I was just like, oh, that's uh, that's uh, that's old girl. <laughs> like I'm like, that's old girl. Yeah, Insecure was trying to be cute, trying to name drop, trying to do a little bit of like uh, where's Wildo with the celebrity. So I think we're gonna be seeing a lot more of that. It's gonna be a whole bunch of like surprising characters popping up, people that we know, familiar faces. And so that's gonna be dope to see. But Cadola and Lawrence, I don't know. Like, I think they're nice together. I think they can be good together because Lawrence was like kind of doing his little F boy situation. He was kind of like, he screwed off Tasha. Um, and then he was going around town catching STDs and having threesomes. And he was, you know, he was doing his little single life thing. And I think he, that's not him. That's not his life. So now he's he's settling down. I think a little bit settling, settling down with Condola. You know, I don't know. I think they're cute together. I think they'll be nice. I like that actress. She's really cute, and I like how the speed of her acting. Everybody else is, and Condola's kind of just like steady. 
I think she canceled that date because she was just envisioning like Issa with Lawrence. Like, you know, y'all see, y'all remember how Issa had that like flashback and Condola and them at the baby shower? If this was Condola's show, she would have had the same flashback. So I think it made for like kind of an awkward situation. So Molly and Asian Bay Drew. I gotta stop calling this man Asian Bay. His name is Drew, 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 Drew. So Drew and Molly went on a date to Bowling. Cute exchange. She rolled a strike and he rolled a gutter. <laughs> uh, but they was like being playful with it. Like he was just like, oh, if I get a strike, I get a kiss. You know, so it's like really like, it's giving me really high school dating vibes, just how like the cute little banter is going on. I don't think the dust has really, really settled with them in terms of just how many dates they've been on and just like them interacting. It's, it's still really playful, still really innocent. So that's what I got from that scene. And we're gonna go to when Molly's driving her Audi, her Audi, her, it's, it's, has that always been her car? Is she always been rolling like that? And Molly got some money. But anyway, she riding in her car with Drew in the passenger side. Duh, duh, duh. She driving. And they on the way to the mixer. And do we know, do we do we know what Drew does for like a living? Because I'm not I'm not too sure. Cause he 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 rooms with Nathan and then he's also riding with Molly. So I don't know, like does he is he financially at the same level as Molly? Do we know that yet? Well, anyway, that was just like my thought when she was driving him to the party. So Drew's still going on dates with other people on top of dating Molly. Um, and she kind of was taken aback. She was like, huh? And then he's like, yeah, I'm going on other dates. You know, he was honest about it. And she was just like, oh, okay, me too. Me, me, me too. Like, play up in the Himalaya. Me too. I'm, I'm out here doing my stuff this too. In reality, she probably is not dating other people. Molly t gives me the vibes of a character that when she likes the guy, she's pretty focused on him. And she's really like a one at a time type thing. I don't think she really takes on, on too much with her life in terms of just like her dating life. Like whenever we see her with somebody, she's always with somebody at one at a time. Even when she was talking to Dro. Ugh. I'm glad he not on. I'm glad he is not on <laughs> this season, hopefully. We're gonna just fast forward to the mixer. Cause that's that's just what we're gonna do. Once they get to the mixer, she got a whole attitude with Drew. Oh, but we also get to see a little bit more of Issa's new guy she's been talking to. He is so supportive of her. He out there like working for free for her, hyping everybody up, you know. And I like his character a lot. He's like really fun and he's really like, <laughs> I don't know. He was just like, yeah, we turned up over here. Y'all come, come, come to the mix. This is the best mess ever. This is the best party ever. Like he was lit. He was like trying to, he was doing, he was doing what he felt like he should have done for her to make the event better. Everything he was doing, it was like, uh, with good intention. So I like his character. He seems really like authentic. Molly comes into the party, the mixer, and then um, she's doing her thing, and Issa's just like, yeah, that's that's my that's my guy. I've been talking to. That's somebody I've been talking to. And Molly's just like, oh, if you like it, I love it. That's another that's another like hating comment she made because it's just like. Issa didn't ask you if you liked it or loved it. I don't know, something about Molly's like really negative and like very condescending sometimes and she always got something to say. So then we get to the point where Issa is still doing her little pitching. She's talking to people and she's not saying nothing really honestly to anybody to get anybody to sponsor the event she's trying to have. But she turns away from somebody she's talking to and goes to Molly and Molly's kind of just like telling her like, girl, Drew, Andrew told me that he's dating other people. Like, what is what is that about? And Issa's just like, girl, I ain't got time for this kind of... She kind of brushed her off. Like, I really feel like Issa and Molly have been not cool since Malibu. Like, they ain't really been the same since Malibu. And Issa brushed her off. 
just like um molly be brushing Issa off so it's kind of like the same thing like they've been real passive with each other and it's not it's not healthy for their friendship obviously as we can see i was proud of Issa towards the end of the event she got up on the stage she grabbed the mic where's, where's my, let me grab a water bottle she grabbed the mic and she was just like yeah i know i've been saying a whole bunch of craziness but i'm here to say that this event is blah 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 so she really broke it down for everybody and everybody was feeling her and eventually she got like 30 people to sponsor the event she doubled she doubled more than doubled her her expectations for the amount of sponsorship that she wanted for the block party and i was proud of her i was like go ahead isa go ahead isa say go ahead isa say go ahead isa like i'm like she really doing it she doing her thing and i'm i'm proud of her just to see how like she's grown from <laughs> quitting the job doing lift to like really planning something um planning something and trying to work out her passions and she even gave condola a shout out she was just like i couldn't have done it without my girl and that was real that was real big of Issa. like i was like that's what's up that's what's up and so that kind of broke the tension between them two when she kind of extended that olive branch in terms of just like girl it's all good like i think Issa really sees this this friendship as something that it's beneficial for both of them. I think Condola sees it as a, another business opportunity, as well as like them being having chemistry together and, and, and letting the project kind of like really take its own type of personality because they just like throwing out ideas and they really click and they really mesh. So I think this is this is going to end up being a great work relationship and it might turn into something more of them hanging out outside of the work, but. Since Lawrence is in the picture, it's probably gonna make things a little bit more different difficult for them to have like a sisterhood type of vibe because sister, ain't no sister sleeping with the same sister's ex. Okay, so they can't call each other sis. They might be able to call each other uh girl. So towards the end of the event, everybody's like, good job, that's what's up. Everybody's hyping up Issa. Like giving her the love that she needs at that time because she feels proud of herself. She achieved something. And she gets to Molly and Molly's like, oh, good job. Ladies, <laughs> watch out for a friend that be like real like dead when you be like, girl, like I did it, yeah, I did it. And she like, oh, good job. And Molly was really on some hating stuff. Ain't you there to support her? Like even though you cleaning up, you really not, it's like fake love that you are doing it with. And she gets to tell Issa about herself and saying, once Issa told uh, Molly about Condola being with Lawrence, Issa was just, uh, Molly was just like, oh, you must like a messy life. You you just messy. You must like it. You just, you must like, you just must like your life being a mess. Basically judging Issa on some, just judging her, judging her life, judging who she talked to, judging her relationship, like, Molly's really like really projecting her insecurities onto Issa. Like, cause you you having trouble with, with cause you having trouble with Drew. All Issa was trying to tell you when you came to her talking about Drew dating other people was just when you kind of just snap out of it. But I could see how Molly could get irritated because Molly was talking to Issa about one of Molly's problems, and then Issa kind of kind of turned it into her, like saying, like, oh, you see how I got up on stage and and I just turned it around for myself, you know. But Molly, when Molly, when Molly, when Molly need comfort in, she, she, she just need you to talk to her about her and her situation. But then Molly was like, well then you messy. Like I can't take advice from no messy girl. You like, you like messing your life. How you gonna tell me about myself, but you like mess. And Issa kind of was like, Issa should have checked her. She, she should have checked uh, Molly right there. But she was just like, Whatever, you're not finna, you're not finna steal my joy. Like, I really had a great night. You're not finna kill my, you're not finna kill my body. But I thought that, like, exchange was really interesting. And, and I think that's gonna be one of the, the main turning points to them not being cool no more. I hope they can get it together. I hope that they can really figure out what the root of the problem is and, like, kind of set a boundaries from one another so that they don't keep overstepping their boundaries because, Issa is evolving. She's not taking the same 
you know, crazy comments that she was taking from Molly years ago when she was kind of like in her in her funk. Like Issa is evolving, meaning she's she's accepting different things in her life. She's tolerating different things in her life. She's not going to continue to allow Molly to make her feel bad about herself anymore. And Issa is finally feeling herself right now. So it's kind of like Molly is still the same Molly. Molly hasn't really grown much. Her character hasn't really grown much, I don't think. I think when she was doing her therapy, that was good for her. But other than that, she really hasn't developed a new, I don't know, she hasn't developed, she hasn't been developing any more than that. And she's seen Issa develop more and she's hating on that. Um, so we'll see how that friendship goes. I want you guys to leave a comment down below um, telling me what your predictions for the season and how it's going to turn out. My prediction for the end of the season would be that Nathan's going to come back. Issa's going to have to have a conversation with Nathan. And then once Tiffany has this baby, like people are going to freak the out. Okay. So I think that's going to be like the climax of the season when that happens. So leave a comment down below on what you think is going to happen this season. Also, um, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know if y'all like these videos. I will keep doing them if you like them. And y'all know just like leave a little like or something, share the video um, so we can discuss what's going on with this show because it's going to get juicy. It's going to get crazy. It's going to get a little bit but I know it's gonna happen. So thank y'all for watching and getting to this point in the video and I will see you all later. Bye.